Hello, I'm Toy Cat, and I just ordered a cotton candy burrito from a place called Creamberry in Las Vegas. This is the most ridiculous food I've ever looked at. They take the idea of a burrito, but instead of a wrap, a tortilla, they use a, uh, a, a bunch of candy floss or cotton candy. Uh, then instead of like, I guess, meat, we have ice cream. In my case, we've got cookie dough ice cream, gonna be delicious. And then you add all sorts of toppings to there, or I guess fillings. So instead of rice, we've got pecans. Instead of uh, lettuce, I've got these sour, can you see the little sour strips here? Um, I've got these little sour strips. And so basically, this is a sugar overload, the most ridiculous dessert you can buy for $15 in Vegas. And let's see how it tastes. Every sweet flavor, all at once. That is what you taste. Every single one of them. You got the immediate like dissolving of the cotton candy into sugar. Love that. You got these nuts that they're very sweet nuts. Then you got the chewiness of the uh, of the sour rainbow belts. But then, in case you think that's not enough flavor for your mouth, then the ice cream starts to melt it all together, giving you some nice lubrication to keep it all going. Oh, yeah. Honestly, that bite was just uh, cotton candy and ice cream, and it works so well by itself. I'm surprised these flavors haven't been mixed more. Again, that you've got the very dry, basically just pure sugar. You've got the cotton candy. Again, super, super dry to the touch, and then you've got the very moist ice cream. But then you throw in some nuts. Mm. And you arrive at heaven. You arrive at what is literally heaven. Bear in mind, by the way, I've got a whole second one of these. This is just. This is just my first half a burrito. This is not a very good meal. This is not good for you. But it feels like it is. We have these brains that were designed for hunter-gathering, right? You didn't know when the next meal was coming. So when you find sugar, this like super energy dense thing, you're like, eat as much as you can. Who knows when that's happening? But in the modern world, I do know when my next meal is coming. It's gonna be in about 20, I was gonna say it's later today. Probably, it's gonna be tomorrow because I'm gonna be so sick from eating this. But even though my logical brain can tell you that, my my, my primal uh, monkey brain is going, yes, eat more, keep throwing this in your mouth. Some people have this thing where they get sick if they eat, like, you know, they, they can't eat something that's too sickly sweet. I love things that are so sweet, whether it's wine, whether it's ice cream, whether it's anything, drinks, I love this because this is the sweetest thing I've had in such a long time. No, oh, my day was significantly improved by this. And uh, yeah, I totally recommend it if you're ever in Vegas. It's, it's quite far out in the suburbs, maybe like a 20 minute drive, but Creamberry desserts, ice cream drinks, apparently worth a try. Mm. It's been three minutes and I'm only halfway through the first bomb. This is gonna be 12 minutes of me eating where every bite is this good. And boy, is, that, is this gonna be a good day. So I'm having a good day. I'm in Las Vegas in case you're curious. I'm heading back very shortly to then head re back. My life's very complex right now, but if you want an update on that, then I don't know, keep following the channel. But for now, third channel, don't care. Actually, wait, I wanna show you something cool. We walk this way a little bit. Look at this, it's an electrical box, but it's a giant water bottle. I think it would have been better if it was a giant like water storage area, but I think it's a fun idea. Oh, actually wait, it says parking for water bottle customers only. Pure, clean, refreshing. Oh, whoa, it's, you can, whoa, you just buy water from the giant water bottle. That's really cool, actually. Okay, you know, goodbye.